feels great. <laughs> I stand here tonight excited, proud, and above all, humbled at this monumental victory. I thank God for this wonderful opportunity. This election is and has always been about the people. I ran to serve because serving the public is all I ever wanted to do. I hear the cry for help from the elderly. I feel the pain of parents who cannot make ends meet. And I understand the serious challenges facing every community in this district. It is my goal to unite the beautiful mosaic that is the 48th Council District. It is beautiful. It is beautiful to see how many diverse neighborhoods came together to, to support me and my candidacy and this community and bring us to victory tonight. community in different capacities, assisting those affected by Hurricane Sandy, those faced by crime and unemployment, those underprivileged and infirm. I have learned that problems get solved when people work together. I pledge to be the leader who brings all of our communities together to make life better for all. At this time, there are so many people and organizations I wish to thank, friends, family, neighbors, and supporters, thank you. Yeah. The support of Councilmember Michael Nelson, who has yes. been there. Yeah. The support of the law enforcement community has been especially meaningful to me. Thank you. police officers, city employees, organizations, and regular New Yorkers that work so hard each and every day. You have all been a strong advocate and fighter, and fighter in me, and I will always be there for you in the future to come. I look forward, I look forward to uniting our communities to benefit for everyone. Please join me to make this dream and unity a reality. thank all of you here tonight, my closest friends and supporters. Without you, this couldn't have happened. I count on all of your help as we prepare for our victory on November 5th. Yeah! I want to say thank you to many here who are with us tonight. I want to say thank you to the to the community, the Pakistani community, Bobby, Nasa. Yeah. You guys have been great. To the to the Chinese community, Sam, yes, Sam, Sam. Sam. Yeah. And all my friends, all my fellow employers, all my fellow employees. My, my bosses, my, and, and, and my community members, I'm, I want to tell you, I don't want to single anyone out, but I finally, I want to say a big thank you to my campaign staff. And I have to tell you, how did I choose my campaign staff? During Hurricane Sandy, a tree fell down in Midwood, and one of my, um, Peter, who's been uh, leading the campaign with Tova, um, yeah. 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 Peter has worked as, as an auxiliary officer in the local precinct. And when that tree fell down, it became a hazard. Cars were driving down the avenue and almost went right into the tree. Peter came in uniform, his shift ended at 12 o'clock. And I said, you know something? No one's here. It's, it's a hazard. It's a danger. Peter came back off duty and stood there till five o'clock in the morning till that tree was gone. When it came, when my campaign started, I said, you know, 
which, which guy is better to run the campaign, someone dedicated, and I chose Peter. That's how Peter came out. Right. Right. Yeah. When, when I first met Peter, he came to my house with Tova. And I said, what better person to have in my campaign, Peter? <laughs> Thank my wife, my children, yes. my in-laws. Yes. The last three months was was were long months, long nights, long days, and my wife, my children stood by me, you know, by thick and thin, and they were always there for me. They didn't complain that I wasn't home most of the night. Aww. Yes, Aww. and I also want to thank. I also want to thank a big thank you to the Russian American community yes. in this district yeah, right. who has been coming. Out. <laughs> I want to thank the Orthodox Jewish community in this district. Thank you so much. And my treasurer. Being a treasurer is not an easy job. You know, collecting money, I did that in over two weeks. That seemed kind of easy. That seemed kind of easy. My treasurer, Jill's Gate. And the guys that were out there for me from the beginning. When I first started this campaign, they said, you have no shot at this district. You have no chance of winning. I had people that stuck with me and says, no, I'm going to hold your hands. When I felt lost, they were with me from the beginning. They spent nights with me. They spent days with me. When I was sad, they were there for me. When I was crying, they hugged me. And I want to say thank you, thank you to Ari Aker, Moish, Moish, raise your hand, Moish. people here, so many people that were, that were with me from the beginning, and I want to say thank you, thank you so much, thank you for being here, thank you for supporting me, and I look forward to making our community better, and I want to take the quality of life and make all those issues go away, because as me, me representing you, I will work hard, I will be your strongest advocate, I will be your strongest fighter. And finally, I want to mention a special thank you to Josh Melman, Haskell Bennett, Liz Haskell. Last but not least, my dear brothers. Yeah. 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 Where are they? Get over there. Get over there. Come on. Come on. We need you. Hey. When I went door knocking each and every night, it's not an easy task. Especially when people say you're not going to win this district. My brothers stood with me side by side every single night. There was no question what time you need me there. What time will we finish this? There was no questions whatsoever. He was with me from the beginning till the end. I want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm talking with Councilman Michael Nelson, soon to be former Councilman Nelson. Can't wait. How happy are you to have someone that was working for you for so many years now take over that, that leadership role? I feel like a proud papa. Uh, the time is my daughter's age. Could be my son. And he's been that way since he's been working for me. It's been more than a plus relationship with him. It's been like a family situation. Uh, I fell off a, 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 a chair one time <laughs> and I was hurt. My wife called Chaim Deutsch. <laughs> Before she called 911. Because okay. Chaim has this way of just always helping people. He knows how to do it. He has solutions to problems. Not just one, usually two, maybe three. So the fact that he, hopefully, will be the one who replaces me, I feel the continuity, and he'll be better than me. He's younger, he's more energetic, and he's so focused on helping people. This will be tremendous for the community. So I really feel like a, a proud. Now, you, will you be a former councilman where you could help him out if he needs to reach out to you? Yeah. Will you still be there to mentor? I'd like to feel like I'm the elder statesman, <laughs> so to speak. That I'll, he consult with me, it'd be my honor, my pleasure, and we'll work out situations and things that maybe some things I actually know that he doesn't know, although I'm not so sure about that. But together, we can really continue to keep this community strong and vibrant and get even get better. Thank you. As we've been telling the community for so long now, I feel like a broken record. For those who remember what broken records sound like, saying things over and over again. We need the community to vote. 
they vote, our candidates will win. It's just that simple. Watching the roller coaster tonight, uh, 67 votes, 77 votes, times down, a little more down, a little less down, knowing full well that our community had yet to be counted, slowly watching the votes come in and the numbers start to go up, and then all of a sudden being down 198 votes, and then within a few minutes being up 150 votes, ultimately coming out with a victory as we stand here at this moment in time with 296 votes. 296 votes. So for those 296 voters in the Flappers community who stood forward and stood up for Chaim Deutsch, you didn't just elect Chaim Deutsch to the primary so he can run in the general election. You stood up for our community's policing. You stood up for our community sanitation. You stood up for our kids at risk. You stood up for our education. You stood up for our community. And for that, we are all very grateful.